So, it's the middle of April, and apparently what that looks like in Canada is snow and ice all over the ground. I'm not going to class today, but I'll record a video. Okay, so most of us have Windows PCs, and when we use our launchpad, we use it for covers, and everybody's talked about the fact that the lights don't work properly. Now, that's something that you can look past if you don't use a launchpad for light shows, and uh, you only use it for really uh, a MIDI input device. Except the problem with using it as a MIDI input device is the delay. The delay from when you press a button to when you hear a sound come out of your speakers or your headphones or whatever you're using to actually listen to the audio. Now go on to Mac OS and that delay isn't there for some reason and also light shows work properly. The light shows working properly? I don't know how to solve that right now. But what we're gonna solve today is fixing the lag between pressing a button and hearing it out of your speakers. So if you go into the Ableton options, you'll actually notice a latency option in uh, the audio settings. So you can turn down the amount of samples for the input device and for the output device. And what that'll do is that'll reduce all your latency. However, you'll find that when you do that, sometimes the audio gets really glitchy and the quality just kind of disappears into thin air. So what I found works for me is this thing called ASIO drivers. Now, ASIO drivers were designed from the ground up to be a low latency music style driver. And that's actually the type of driver that Mac OS uses. Okay, so ASIO, or Audio Stream Input Output, was designed from the ground up to be a low latency um, driver for professionals. So compared to the Microsoft's DirectX driver uh, for sound, you find that there's a lot of latency. If you go into settings, you can see anywhere from like 100 to like 300 milliseconds of latency, and that's crazy for clicking a button on your launchpad and having to wait 300 milliseconds to actually hear it. So I'm gonna just really quickly go over the steps to install an ASIO driver. So if you're on Windows, the best ASIO driver you can use is called ASIO for all. Now if you have a device that natively supports an ASIO driver, like I have my DDJSR, I don't have it right here right now, but that natively supports an ASIO driver and I can get latencies around 11 milliseconds or lower. So that's pretty good. But if you don't have a device that has an ASIO driver, you can just download ASIO for all and you can connect it to your computer speakers or anything else. So I have it connected to my Behringer mixer, as you saw in my last video, my setup tour, and that's how I run it. And it's amazing for things like playing a launchpad or playing on a MIDI keyboard or anything that is MIDI or audio related in Ableton or really in any DAW. Change your driver type to ASIO. And as your audio device, you select ASIO for all. Uh, you can go into the hardware setup, and you can actually view everything. So I like to drop mine down to 256 samples. I find that it reduces the latency a little bit more. And there is my latency, 11.5 milliseconds. And I find that that works extremely well. So the way that you install uh, ASIO for all is you simply go to the website and you just download the latest version, which is up here, and you just install it as you would any other program. So realistically, if you're doing anything with music or audio or any DAW, you should be using an ASIO driver. Now if you're already on macOS, macOS already has ASIO drivers, so you don't even need to worry about it. Anyway, so that's all I got to talk about today. I'll see you guys in the next video.